and we are here with David Rogers. He's going to introduce himself and tell us a little bit about digital transformation. Hi, my name is David Rogers. Uh, I'm the author of the Digital Transformation Playbook, uh, Rethink Your Business for the Digital Age. I also teach at Columbia Business School uh, in New York City and work with companies around the world on how technology is changing uh, business strategy. Okay, you were talking about five points uh, that we, we have to have in mind if we are going to do a digital transformation. So tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Uh, I've really found in my own work and research with companies is that the hardest part of the key to digital transformation is actually changing your strategic thinking in the business. As an existing enterprise, you've got your own experience, you've grown the business under very different conditions if you built the, the company in the pre-digital era. And so we need to learn to think differently about these five domains. We need to learn to think differently about customers, uh, our relationship with customers, not thinking of them so much as you know passive targets who we market to, and instead as a network that is very dynamically interconnected. How do we uh, engage them and interact with them in a more reciprocal way? Uh, second domain is competition. We need to learn to think differently about who is our competition in the digital era. How do we define competition? Uh, it used to be very much about your industry, right? If you were a newspaper company, you competed with other newspapers. If you were a car manufacturer, you competed with other car companies. Now you may be a car company whose competitive threat is a Google's software for cars or Uber uh, turning ride, dri driving and riding as a service. So we need to learn to think differently about uh, particularly how platforms are transforming competition today. Uh, the third domain is data. Businesses have always used data, uh, but it's traditionally been used in the pre-digital era really to simply operationalize the business. How do you manage your functions, marketing, HR, uh, product inventory, etc. But now what's happening in the digital era is with our new technologies and tools is if you can bring all of your data sets together from throughout the company, bring in other diverse sets of data from outside the company, data actually becomes a strategic asset, something that you can use to drive new innovation and value. Uh, the fourth domain is innovation actually. How do you manage the risks in the process of innovation? In the traditional model, uh, the pre-digital era it was very much top-down planning, uh, seniority, smartest people in the room making a big bet one direction or another, and some products would fail and other products would succeed and you'd hope you had enough successes to make up for the failures, but they were very costly. In the digital era, we're seeing a whole new approach and a whole new model of innovation that's based on rapid experimentation, placing lots of very small bets, very iteratively, getting customer feedback, not when the product is completely finished and launched, but at every stage of development and iteration. It allows companies to manage the risks of innovation much better in a rapidly changing environment. Uh, and the last domain of strategy, which I talk about that we need to learn to think differently about, is value. What is your value to the world, to the market, to your customers? And traditionally, that's something that's been very static. You know, this is what we are, uh, what we make, what our industry is, and that tells us what we should offer as value. But today, with industry definitions changing, with customer needs changing constantly, it's imperative that, cost that companies be looking ahead of that curve, adapting what is the value you can offer, looking at every new technology, and not saying defensively, how will this affect my business, but rather asking, how could this allow me to create new value? for the customer and for my firm in ways that were possible before. So really it's about changing your strategic thinking in all five of these areas uh, as the foundation for any successful digital transformation. And how do you, do you see Latin America and especially Colombia in that perspective? Are we going in the right path or not? I think definitely I see uh, Colombia and other Latin American countries I've been in are definitely going in the right path. And the reason why is the customers are leading you there. Uh, this whole change around the world is being driven by the market, by customer demands and different experiences, their adoption of different technologies. Uh, you have to manage, of course, in markets like Latin America and Southeast Asia, you have to manage different customers who are at different levels of technology adoption to make sure you're meeting the needs of each of them. Uh, but I think we're going to continue to see rapid change. I think the real uh, uh, opportunity or the challenge for, for markets like Colombia is to really stay connected to as many other uh, markets and industries around the world as possible, to be bringing in new ideas and best practices, and to really embrace uh, a culture of, of risk-taking and innovation, trying new things, uh, but doing them in a smart way that adds value to your business rather than recklessly you know, uh, going down new ventures that, without really understanding what the impact is and whether it's really adding value for your customer and going to build and grow your business. Okay, thank you very much.